everybody. Happy Thanksgiving from Treyer Wilderness and from the Farmer's Lamp. <laughs> Welcome to my kitchen. I hope you guys are all doing well. Bear with me here while I get that in place. Let's see if it'll stay there. Mm. So how is everybody today? We are busy baking. You might as well get over here in here too. <laughs> <laughs> She's my new kitchen helper, which has been awesome. I'm not feeling good these days, so her extra hands have been a blessing. We made, what, four pumpkin pies, four sweet cornbreads. Uh, fermented cranberries. Oh, yes. We, yes, we fermented our cranberry um, relish for tomorrow. and We should have done that earlier, but it's been a crazy week. Um, zucchini bread. Oh, the zucchini bread for supper tonight. We are having... Uh, vegetable chili this evening and you can see the drying rack in the background for the clothing we've been putting it all together today so that tomorrow the house looks nice and and uh, set up here and clean and cozy and yes. it's certainly warm yes it's warm <laughs> we got the wood stove going and the and the and the stove going so. <laughs> but I wanted to just talk today um, for starters, with off-grid living, um, I'm going to continue as we go to share a little bit about our lifestyle, but our family uh, moved out here in 2010 and purchased raw, untouched land. It was very overgrown, and we set up a canvas wall tent for eight and a half months, to which we lived in um, for the eight and a half months. It was an eight foot by 14 foot canvas wall tent with a wood stove in it. And we build our home. So as you can see in the background, things aren't finished, but you know what? It's home right. and we are very grateful for it. We love it. We decided to do the outside and get our chicken coops and our garden and our greenhouse and our sawmill and our barn and our guest cabin all set up. And the inside is the last because it's going to take a little bit more time and a little bit more expense. So, you know, you live with what you have at right. the time, which is so important. You, you know, you don't have to have five or 25 acres or 50 acres to homestead. You can homestead wherever you are. You can just start slow, which is what we always recommend, is to just start out slow. Ferment some cranberry relish for Thanksgiving and start your your process of baking from scratch by making some breads. Um, but this lifestyle is amazing and along with this lifestyle has come a lot of gratitude and a lot of gratefulness and thankfulness and and we're celebrating Thanksgiving tomorrow and I thought we would talk about that because I feel the more you see the small blessings in your life even when it's through absolute heartache and destruction and craziness if you can see the good that comes out of it and the glimpses of blessings that are still there, your life will be so much better because um, that's life regardless if you're homesteading or not. You will run into things, things will go wrong, things will be unfortunate, but if you can focus on your blessings, your life will be so much better. And the more grateful you are and the more you see your blessings, the more God will show you, which has been an amazing, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Journey for both Rhonda Lord. and I, <laughs> because we opened our home to Rhonda so that they had a place for winter due to their circumstances. And in return, you know, I, I was focusing on blessing her and she has become a better blessing to me than I could have ever imagined being for her because right now I, I needed the extra hands and I didn't realize how much I need to slow down. So I am very blessed to have Rhonda Let here. Me, crown live video. <laughs> <laughs> me too. <laughs> but I want you to focus on being grateful. Your life may be upside down. You may be dealing with heartache. You may be dealing with unfortunate circumstances. Through those situations, I want you to grab a hold of your bootstraps and I want you to open your eyes and I want you to see and search for the simplest of blessings. Every night when you go to bed, I want you to lay there and think about the blessings that have happened. Whether it's you didn't have money for food and you suddenly found $25, you are um, in a situation of bad health and today you had a good day. I can relate to all those things. You know, we we are not void or exempt from struggles just because we homestead and live what we refer to as a simple life. <laughs> My Rhodesian Ridgeback is deciding to share her voice. The in horse knows. Our... <laughs> Mrs., what are you talking about? What? <laughs> <laughs> 
that seem... <laughs> But anyway, I want you to do that. I want you to focus. And the best thing you could do is get a little notebook. It doesn't have to be a fancy notebook. It doesn't have to be expensive. Go to the dollar store and get one. And every day, write down at least three things you're grateful for. It will change your life because you will start focusing on the positive and, and be removing yourself from the negative. And that, my friends, is good for your health. It's good for your soul. It's good for your spirit. And it will make your life a very different thing and a very different place to be in. And I encourage you to do that no matter what place you are in. If you're happy, it'll make you happier. If you're in a bad spot, it will it will improve things for you. And if I might suggest, you put your faith in God. Um, we are Christians. I don't want to push that on you. But it is an awesome place to be. And if you're thinking about it and you need guidance, I would be thrilled if you reached out to me at survive at treyerwilderness.com. We are blessed. And I feel that the reason I am so blessed is because God leads the way in my home. And it doesn't have to be that way for you. You can still be grateful, but I encourage you to consider it. And I also encourage you to reach out to me. I'm always available to anybody. But, and yes, Rhonda also. And you can find her at thefarmerslamp.com. And you can find our website at treyerwilderness.com. And I just want to wish you all a very blessed Thanksgiving. I want you to enjoy your meal the coma you will be in after you enjoy your meal, and your family. <laughs> Everybody goes into turkey coma. It's just a given thing. I think we're going to be heading out for a short stroll tomorrow just to get rid of some of that turkey coma that goes on. But I wish you a very good and blessed Thanksgiving, and I wish you a great a year of gratitude and gratefulness and a blessed year as well. So we will be on every Monday. Wednesday and Friday at 1 p.m. And forgive me for today. We were baking and I got sidetracked. So, <laughs> so enjoy and, and may you be blessed. And until our next show on Friday, God bless. Bye. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving in your heart. Amen. <laughs> ah! <laughs>